Hi, I'm Paul. Of course, you probably already know that. Hopefully, you watch some of my other videos. Um, today, I want to do a review, what I call the final review of the SR-22. I just want to put a fork in it, get it done. I've watched a lot of other people's reviews. Mine is going to be a little bit different. Uh, one thing I want to warn you, and that is on uh, the internet and on YouTube even, there are a lot of people that might have played Black Ops or a video game, and all of a sudden they're giving out information like they know something about firearms. So be very careful what you listen to. Uh, hopefully most of the reviews on the SR-22 have been good reviews from knowledgeable people. I want to take you through a little assortment of my firearms. Just so you know, I didn't learn this on the internet, I actually have some firearms knowledge. So let's start with the Smith & Wesson. Okay, this is a Smith & Wesson 19-3. I believe it's called a target masterpiece. Unlike the combat masterpiece, it has adjustable sights. This gun's in 357. It's a beautiful gun. As you can tell, this is not a discount store gun. Um, shoots great. I love it for what it's intended for, and uh, I wouldn't part with this. And let's move on to something I just picked up. I just picked up a SIG 226 Extreme. This is not a discount store gun. This isn't even a gun store gun. Very few gun stores would have this in stock. This is a special order gun from their custom shop. Again, um, very nice gun. I really love this. I just got it. I have to play with it a little more to see how much I love it but I'm real happy with all of my SIG guns. Again, expensive gun. Very nice. Okay, standard Ruger Mark II target gun, 22 caliber. Um, everybody probably know somebody that has one of these. He's been out on the market, I don't know how many years, I'm not a historian, but a really long time. People think they look like a German Luger. I guess they kind of do. Um, very accurate gun, very reliable for a 22. Uh, Brownie makes a gun that's pretty much equivalent. Some people say better or worse. I don't know. Uh, High Standard makes one. I believe Smith & Wesson makes a target 22 gun. Um, any of the pistols like this are really accurate guns uh, no matter who makes them. They seem to be pretty good gun to have. I also have one here in stainless steel, same thing, shorter barrel, I believe they call this the 4 inch barrel. The other one I believe they call the 6 inch barrel. Uh, Again, this is a little bit older gun, very nice. It's a Ruger Mark II, same as the other one, just a different variation of it. Just to remind you, this video is really about the SR-22. I showed you these other handguns, just so you know you're dealing with someone that has touched other guns. It's not like I just got an SR-22 and this is the only gun in the world. I have a lot of experience with a lot of different handguns, so I hope my evaluation is reliable and accurate. Okay, first of all, with the SR-22, I want to tell you, I've shot a lot of different ammo in it. Of course, I've shot the entire range of CCI ammunition, mini mags, velocitors, um, quick shot, whatever they are, some kind of a, a version of some kind of long rifle uh, bullet the head for a while, I guess this, these might be out of date. Uh, I've shot the Aguila Hyper Velocities in it. Oh yeah, CCI Stingers of course, uh, Winchester Wildcat 22, Winchester uh, Super X, of course Peters, I don't know where I got this, it was $1.29 so, oh Big Five Sporting Goods. Uh, the shot in it, uh, 
Remington Viper 22s Thunderbolts. I guess that's the same thing. But the ammunition I've really used the most of is the regular Remington Golden Bullet Value Pack. These used to be real bad, but at one time uh, I seen boxes that said new improved on them. I, in fact, I ripped the flap off because I was excited that maybe these are better now because there were a lot of duds in it. Since uh, I've seen a box with that on it, even if you get a box without it say new and improved, these things seem to not have duds anymore. And this is pretty cheap ammunition. Um, it's like, well, usually it's $19 for 525 bucks at Walmart. Okay? But besides it feeding all that ammunition, again, this gun's unloaded. This is the SR-22. Um, I, I've shot this ammunition, all this ammunition I just showed you, but not a high quantity of any one of them, except for the Remingtons. But what I'm going to tell you is, my experience with the small 22s is, every one I've ever had has been a jam o -matic. I mean, jam, jam, jam. Uh, they're just a pain in the butt. Uh, when I got this, I heard that this gun would not jam. I've lost count, uh, somewhere around 1,800 rounds, and I've probably shot another five or six hundred after that. I'm well over two thousand rounds through this gun. Now, that's not a miracle of two thousand rounds through the gun, but I've never had a jam, never had a stovepipe, never had anything. Failure to feed, uh, absolutely no malfunctions in over two thousand rounds. And that's something, you know, that's pretty impressive uh, for a 22 pistol, especially in this size. Because most of them in this size, as soon as you get away from big target guns, they, their reliability just goes down the toilet. So this thing here is over 2,000 rounds without a jam, and that's impressive in itself. But let me tell you the best part. I've never cleaned it. I took the gun apart when I got it to make sure it didn't have too much oil on it. Uh, wiped off a little bit of oil, applied a little bit of oil, very little. And I've just decided to just shoot this gun. Just shoot it and shoot it till I can't stand it anymore. Till it finally jams. Well, I give up. Over 2,000 rounds without a jam. That is very, very impressive. Uh, and again, probably... Uh, 2,000 rounds of it was using uh, the Remington Golden Bullets and hundreds of rounds using assorted CCI and all these other brands of uh, ammunition that I happen to have. So I am very, very impressed with the reliability of this gun. Uh, when I had it out last time, I have some other videos with my grandkids and stuff shooting. Um, when they got their hands on this gun, although they like shooting the Mark IIs, when they got their hands on this gun, that was it. They wouldn't give it back. Of course, I knew enough to give them this gun last. And they just shot it like crazy. There's a lot of videos where they're trying to take the grip off and they can't get the grip off. See, it's got interchangeable grips. If you don't squeeze it, if you grab it in the front and the back, don't grab it sideways like this and try and pull because you're making it tighter. If you just slightly grab it, front and rear, pull, the grip comes off. Smaller grip, goes on. That easy. Uh, perfect for small kids, uh, petite women. Anyone with small hands would really like this small grip. Uh, the magazines. They have a floor plate you can put on, so it's a little extension to extend the grip out a little bit, or not. Whatever you'd like to do. <coughs> There's another attribute to this gun that I have to talk about, and that is the accuracy of this gun when you shoot it. Almost all small guns like this are kind of inaccurate. I'm going to tell you, a Mark II 
is a very accurate gun. This is so close. Okay, so here's the SIG Extreme. SIG 226. This is smaller, but as you can see, the sight radius isn't really that much shorter. If you practice with this gun, you'll shoot this one here very well. So, my overall review of the Ruger SR-22 is I, I just can't give it a higher rating. The only thing I can think of is if they had fancied it up a little bit or something. Reliability, just amazing on this gun. Accuracy for a gun this size, amazing. Uh, price, on the street, we all know prices vary and I've seen these go for much more than they should. But these here, you should be able to pick these up 350 or less. Of course, that might depend on what state you live in too. But these are very economical guns to own, very economical guns to shoot because they are 22. And like I said, it's a very reliable gun. Nothing upsets me more than having a 22 rifle or pistol the jams because a lot of times these are in the hands of people that uh, aren't very experienced and they can get really frustrated real quick. But this gun here, amazing, amazing reliability. I just can't tell you how reliable this thing's been. So I would recommend this. Let me talk about something else. Um, I don't get uh, any kickback from any gun manufacturers. Uh, I'm not compensated in any way for anything that I say. As you can see, I, I span the range of all the gun manufacturers, usually when I do a video. Uh, I only try and give you information that's true and accurate.